We all know the lighting around us changes, which makes the world around us look different. Though we may not be aware of it because often the shifts are slow and our brain adapts to the variation. But our camera may or may not adapt to what is called white balance or color temperature. You deal with the white balance every time you make a video, though you may not think about it because your camera uses auto white balance, often abbreviated as AWB. With iOS 17, Apple added a feature to lock video white balance instead of having the camera software change it as you filmed. I'm going to show you when you should and should not lock white balance and what the trade-offs are. I shot two videos with white balance locked. On the right, I began in daylight and moved to halogen lighting so daylight looks normal and the white paper looks orange. On the left, I did the opposite. I started in halogen lighting and moved to daylight so the paper looks white, but the daylight scene looks blue. I then reversed time with the left clip so both clips would show roughly the same scene at the same time. Apple's new locking feature does a great job of showing us what white balance is and what happens if you use it with very dynamic lighting color temperatures. In contrast, in this next clip, I turned off the white balance lock so you can see how the iPhone software changes it dynamically. In both clips, we see the colors appear normal and correct at the beginning and end of the clip. Before we dive in any further, let's do a quick check of which video modes the white balance lock works in. Let's turn the lock back on again, and now we'll try cinematic mode. Checking just the halogen to daylight transition, we can see it works as expected. Same with slow-mo. The white balance stays locked. What happens when we try a time lapse? Both the transition on the left, daylight to halogen, and on the right, halogen to daylight, show no locking of white balance. The clips are jumpy because I slowed them down by 10 times. So you're seeing individual frames. Bottom line, white balance lock works with regular video, cinematic, and slow-mo, but does not impact time-lapse clips. I have no way of knowing whether this is intentional on Apple's part or an oversight. I do know that it would be helpful. What you are watching is a sunrise time lapse I filled in Perea Canyon a few years ago, and the changes in lighting color temperature are striking. I don't think I'd use it all the time, but I'd like to have the choice of turning the auto white balance on and off in time lapses. So, if you're filming in situations where the color temperature is changing, considering locking the white balance if the impact of doing so is not excessive and actually minimizes undesirable color changes. Do consider the artistic impact. If the change in color temperature is part of your story, decide whether locking or unlocking sends the right message to the viewer. I hope these examples help you to understand this important new feature of iOS 17. If it did, please click like or subscribe below. Thanks for watching.